Yes. Welcome to Planescape Torment. A very good friend of mine uh, bought this game recently and I've been meaning to record a let's play of a role-playing game for ages, so here we are. This is a pretty old role-playing game. It was, it was released uh, in the time when Baldur's Gate 2 was released. And I've played Baldur's Gate 1 myself. I never played the second part. And I never played this one. I only s kind of looked into it a little bit. But let's see. I've heard many good things about this one. So let's start a new life. We will play as the nameless one. See, I've heard that wisdom is very important because it helps us recall memories and gives a bonus to experience points. Actually, hmm. let's see. Let's increase trench. Charisma. The higher the charisma, the more favorably others will react towards you. Playing corpse, you're putting the blinds on the dusties. <laughs> I thought you were a debtor for sure. Who who are you? Uh who am I? How about you start? Who are you? I don't know, I can't remember. You can't remember your name? Huh? Well next time you spend the night in this burg, go easy on the bot. Name's Maud. I'm trapped in here too. Trap? Yeah, since you haven't had time to get your legs yet, here's a jam. I've tried all the doors and this room is locked tighter than a chastity belt. Oh my! We're locked in? Where? What is this place? It's called the Mortuary. It's a big black structure with all the architectural charm of a pregnant spider. The mortuary. What am I dead? Not from where I'm standing. You got scars aplenty though. Looks like some bug painted you with a knife. All the more reason to give this place the last before whoever carved you up comes back to finish the job. Scars how bad are they? Well the carvings on your chest aren't too bad, but the ones on your back more deposits. Says, looks like you got a whole tattoo gallery on your back, Chief. Spells out something. Tattoos on my back? What do they say? Ha, huh, looks like you come with directions. Morta clears his throat. Let's see. It starts with... I know you feel like you've been drinking a few kegs of sticks wash, but you need a scent to center yourself. Among your possessions is a journal that'll shed some light on the dark of the matter. Ferrot can fill you in on the rest of the chant if he's not in the dead book already. Alright. Ferrot, does it say anything else? Yeah, there's a bit more. More the pauses. Let's see, it goes on. Don't lose the journal or we'll be up the sticks again. And whatever you do, do not 
tell anyone who you are or what happens to you or they'll put you on a quick pilgrimage to the crematorium. Do what they tell you. Read the journal, then find Ferret. No wonder my back hurts. There's a damn novel written there. As for the journal I'm supposed to have with me, was there one with me while I was lying here? No. You were stripped to the skins when you arrived here. Sides look like you got enough of a journal pant on your body. What about Ferret? Do you know him? Nobody I know, but then again, I don't know many people. Still some Bergs got to know where to find Ferret. Uh, once we get out of here, that is. Well, how do we get out of here? Well, all the doors are locked, so we'll need the key. Chances are one of the walking corpses in this room has it. Walking corpses? Yeah, the mor mortuary keepers use dead bodies as cheap labor. <laughs> Whoa! The corpses are dumb as stones, but they are harmless and won't attack you unless you attack first. Hmm. We get a choice here. Well, as you might have guessed, this is a this game is very um, text heavy. So let's see. First, is there some other way? I don't want to kill them just for a key, or so I should attack one of these corpses and loot it for the key. Hmm. Well, I don't want to start trouble right after waking from the dead. So is there some other way? I don't want to kill them just for a key. What? You think it's going to hurt their feelings? They are dead! But if you want a bright side to this, if you kill them, at least they'll have a rest before the keepers raise them up to work again. <laughs> Alright, if you put it that way, I'll take one of them down and get the key. Well, before you do that, arm yourself first. I think there's a scalpel on one of the shelves around here. Alright, I'll look for one. Oh, one last thing. Those corpses are as slow as molasses, but getting punched by one of them is like being kissed by a battering ram. If they start getting an edge on you, remember you can run and they can't. Use it to keep some distance if you need to recover. Okay. Shift key. Alright, thanks for the advice. Well, that's a nice start. Well, done. Yeah, done. I'm gone. Oh, well, there's a scalp. Alright. You found the scalpel. Now go get those corpses and don't worry, I'll stay back and provide valuable tactical advice. Mm. Uh, Alright. Time to introduce these corpses to the second desk then. Well, I want to like equip the scalpel yeah the system of rails is running through oh through the whole room it looks like the steps in the room can be moved around on these rails game is running a bit fast i guess well I'll see what's up with that and be right back.